What's up YouTube? I'm back at it again with another video and today. This is a video on the easiest ways to get drugs. And I'm only gonna name three of them. So the first one is the one that I use is the tower method. I'm gonna show you the, a clip of somebody doing a tower method on a dress. So so this is a way to get dressed with the tower method and it's the easiest way possible that I can think of. So I about the video. Yes. Give it a quick one in the certain areas, you know? And you want to lift up on it too. You don't want to just drag it out of your hair. So do the towel in your area. Pick it up. Take it off. Looking fresh and so clean, clean. One thing I've noticed about having dreads, um, you're definitely going to have crazy hair days. Um, they're never going to sit the way that you want them until they're a little bit longer. But um, yeah, like... I retwisted my hair earlier this morning just for this video because I haven't done anything to it since that other day. But they feel actually better than they did before I did the first twist this morning. Yeah, these are doing pretty good. I like them. That's how long my hair is. Right there, with fully dreaded. But yeah, I'm doing pretty good. This is my anniversary day, like, and they're not looking bad. See, like this one right here, you could turn it that way. It kind of fluffs up a little bit. That's your new growth down there and shit. But the tip of it's dreaded. See. So, of course, like, your roots aren't going to be fully dreaded, but the tip should be. So, that's good. That means I uh, got a good start. I'm going to probably get my hair refaded tonight, if anything. Probably, like, tomorrow. I don't know. Uh, the next way to get dreadlocks the easiest way is the traditional way. And that's just, like, the comb coil you wear. Just look up comb coil you dreadlocks. I'm going to show y'all another little clip of it, too. So, just, just, just look at that. <laughs> For those that have thick hair and all of those, same process, same thing. May take you a little while longer. Make sure that you have a good, strong comb. You get in this head. Hold that part so that you're not causing tension to those that are tender headed. Are you tender headed, Courtney? Can be. Yeah. Is this hurting you? I don't feel it. We tied those edges down and this is how we're going to put her under the dryer. This is just to cure that all the way around the front. She doesn't have those little prickly hair sticking up after she comes from under the dryer. Some people can't control that, but on this level, if you just put this little piece of paper around there, it forms to the head and you see there's no buckles or anything all the way around. And it's pretty much just kind of like how you want to tie it up, but at night when you tie it up, you want to tie it at the end up here versus in the back. This is just so she can go under the dryer. We're working with here, you can see all the way through the hair. They're twisted, shiny, uniform coils that go with the face and if she wants she can kind of make this a little funky top up here scrunch it up a little tighter tie the sides down that'll give it kind of a sleek clean look as well and as time goes out this hair is going to lock very very well and do her thing i just put dominique under the dryer and we're going to wait till she come from under there and style her up and show you another level all right the third way is going to be for people with straight hair because some people who got straight hair or curly hair and their hair real soft and they want to know how to get dressed too so this is just the easiest way for y'all and it's the crochet needle way if you got crochet like me you can use the crochet needle way too so just method right here for everybody no matter what texture hair you got you can use this way here go the clip of somebody using the crochet needle way the first step as usual with making dreads is to do your back combing so the same thing applies, we're just going to be putting in large sweeping motions at first and then we're going to come back through and we're going to shore up and do tighter motions. So what that looks like is we'll take the length of the fiber and do passes that are about this big. Don't worry if you get loops like this, we're just going to pull those right out. We're going to twist it a little bit so we're working on a different side and we're doing those bigger passes first. Pulling it apart as you need to, to kind of even out the lumps. So when you put your back combing in at first, it's all gonna be concentrated at the bottom. 
So what we're actually trying to do is get some of that back combing scooted up towards the top because that is where it's the hardest to achieve your back combing. So like if you were to look at this back combing here, you see this is kind of lower and then you'd have kind of a ball down here. We're trying to not get so much at the bottom quite yet. Push more into the top thing through. Right now, they're not super tight, so I can use my fingers to pull it through. And what this is going to do is it's going to give you that additional texture. It's gonna give you like some major pieces of texture versus some finer pieces of texture that you're gonna put in with your crochet hook. Make sure that when you pull it through, that the entire piece kind of flips around. No seals or more like popcorn dreads rather than a natural kind of crochet look to them. Okay, we're gonna go up and we're gonna work on that same pass. Make sure that you're doing this from different angles. As you're pulling hair through, you'll notice that it starts to tighten down because you're gonna be pulling hair from one side through to the other side, and that's gonna cinch down your core. If you get too big of a loop like that, just ignore it, just push it back down. If you're not looking for huge pieces of hair with this, you're actually looking for the finer ones. they're too big, they're just gonna be in your way. All right, so thanks for watching this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and comment down what else y'all wanna see. And I'm gonna see y'all in the next video.